Hey, what's up guys? It's the IT guy here again. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's it like transitioning from a system administration or a sysadmin position to more of a developer position. And to me, um, it's been a good journey actually. Um, I've been doing system administration work for about nine years now and uh, I thought it would be interesting to learn a little bit more development since uh, you can see that the IT world is shifting more towards that and uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about that what's that been for me like and uh, the first thing I want to say is it's um, it's easier than you think once you sort of get the grasp of what's happening in the background of programming and actually normally when you're doing a lot of system administration work a lot of the analytical thinking that comes uh, that comes with that is also very handy for programming so how did I transition from it I actually uh, first of all started doing some more DevOps work and that involved a lot of bash scripting so I did a lot of that so bash scripting in Linux shell and doing a lot of trying to do as much as um, as much as work through uh, the shell as possible, try to do all that graphical user, user interface work, try to do that more within the bash, uh, within the shell, within the shell actually from the terminal, and try to write my own scripts. And that was actually the first thing that brought me into some sort of programming. Um, it was actually not really programming, we we'd rather call it scripting, but still, it's some sort of programming. And that was actually my first. Um, I don't know, my first exposure to real like programming. Besides the classical PowerShell and batch files, of course, um, that was my first exposure to like programming in something else than Windows. And um, well, that went very well. So I used that a lot when I was doing my DevOps work. And uh, it really, it really showed me that it was possible to do something else than just use PowerShell and stuff like that. The next thing I did was I tried this uh, course that's free online, it's called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python and it showed me a little bit of Python. Uh, before that I also tried a data science course uh, on Udemy and it wasn't really for me. Uh, it was you know, too much, too much theory for me, I was not really applicable for the things that I wanted to use so I, 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 I really just, I didn't really... Um, I didn't really go along with that uh, course, it wasn't really that interesting for me, it was too theoretical and it was not really hands-on practice, which was the case for things like, uh, for the, which was the case for Automated Boring Stuff. So Automated Boring Stuff lets you do system administration work uh, with Python. So the things you would normally do, writing shell scripts or writing uh, batch files or writing PowerShell scripts, these things you can all do these things, or at least sort of, you're not going to do everything of course, there's going to be, there's going to be stuff that's not possible with Python, that is possible with PowerShell and vice versa. So uh, yeah, it was a very interesting course for me and, I, and it's free online but I followed the Udemy course because I was following the free course and I thought hey why not support this guy and just bought his course on Udemy and that way I you know, support him a little bit. And so I followed along with that course, and by the end of that course, I was actually able to do some uh, to, to do some basic uh, code wars uh, katas on their website. And uh, if you don't know what code wars is, and you're not familiar with that, and you want to learn programming, basically it's this website where they give you uh, little little snippets of code that you have to write to solve a problem. So that's what code wars basically is, and you can climb up the ladder and become like a super uh, super uber. <laughs> lead coder but that's not really why I'm on that side I'm actually just there to just practice a little bit of coding so going from there uh, I knew my basics of programming in Python and then I followed along with a Udemy course again uh, so it was a complete web developer boot, boot camp and so that's the first thing I'm learning right now so I'm pretty much ready to write my first web app right now uh, although I didn't really have any experience doing so and uh, it's 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 cool to you know, to see the transition from being a system administration and really getting the things that you've been doing all your life and you've been seeing all these things that you've been configuring and now you see how all that comes together doing all the coding and that's just really satisfying for me and especially for me, uh, the, as I said before, the analytical thinking that comes with solving problems is also very much prevalent in programming as much as it is in system administration. Although there are some things like when I when I did the web developer bootcamp, I didn't really like the HTML and CSS, uh, but that's just me. That's just because I'm not really like a visual person. I'm really more of an analytical person. I love to 
how should I say this, I love to think about how to solve problems. I'm not really much of a designer. So there's a solution for that, right? There's a lot of pre-made HTML websites and you can style them the way you want to. Uh, you can go onto like something like a website like Bootstrap and they have pre-made websites for you. You can just, you know, do a little bit of tweaking there. So you're not really, you don't really have to worry that much about uh, doing all of that styling yourself. Uh, a lot of that is done for you. But other than that, yeah, I can only say that, yeah, if you're in a system administration job and you're thinking about going into programming, uh, I would highly suggest you just do it. You just try it at least. Uh, there's a lot of things you can learn that you can apply in your system administration work, I'm pretty sure of. There's a lot of things like Python, you can use that on Windows, you can use it on Linux, you can use that on Mac. And you can do a lot of things within Python without having to learn, you know, like, three different scripting languages you know you're gonna have have to know some scripting languages of course but it's gonna be uh, a lot easier for you to you know write the scripts from scratch if you're doing it ever if you if you're doing everything in Python uh, so yeah I can only say that uh, up till now I'm very motivated to continue my journey into development and uh, of course I'm not gonna do it I don't think that I'm ever going to be a know full-on developer I think that I'm gonna lean more towards the DevOps side of things because I really still love the systems and I'm not you know as I said I'm not really much of a designer or anything but I just love the analytical thinking and uh, you know I'm a freelancer so I can switch around I can do some DevOps I can do some developer stuff I uh, I've got that freedom so I'm gonna take a take a, as much as advantage of that freedom as I can so to summarize it's been uh, it's been a cool journey for me. I love the transition. I love to see the transition from sysadmin to becoming more of a developer and seeing that in between there's this DevOps thing that I really like. So I think I'm gonna switch more to the side of the developer but still stay a little bit on the side of the sysadmin and go from a DevOps, more of a, go from, for more of a DevOps approach or whatever you wanna call that. So for any sysadmin out there that's you know, in doubt, should I learn to code? Yes, you definitely should learn how to code. It's just also, it's just fun to do, you know, it's just really, I, and, I, I, and I, I can really say that because everybody says that, oh, well, coding's fun, but it is actually pretty fun to just, you know, play around a little bit. It's like, if you know that game Sudoku or, you know, you don't crossword puzzles, something like that, you have to think about it like that. It's like a little puzzle you're gonna solve uh, like you would do in, you know, in the newspaper, you get these little uh, Sudokus or these little crossword puzzles. Um, it's a little bit like that for me. It's like a little puzzle I get to solve. And in the meanwhile, I, uh, I listen to some music and I really can enjoy uh, doing that. It really, uh, yeah, it's just a lot. It's just very fun <laughs> to do. So, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.